Hey guys, it's Adam AK Swimming Bird. Ooh, a little hot today. Now, I was supposed to be uh, dressed. Oh, welcome back to Animal Crossing New Leaf. Sorry about that. Uh, I was supposed to be dressed as a burglar today, but uh, I went to the island and accidentally took my hood off, and then it got sold <laughs> to the cap captain, captain's family or whatever. So, uh, I'm gonna get this from the Nooklings here. I ordered a ski mask, and I will be a burglar today. I swear it. Um, so welcome back guys, yeah. Uh, if you look to the side there, there's some bamboo. There we go, perfect. Um, I actually got this, I think it was from Elvis? I delivered a package to him and he was like, here's a bamboo shoot. So, I planted it outside my house. Normally I can't get bamboo because, uh, I haven't got the upgraded shop yet to do that, but eventually I should be able to. What's up, Pinky? Mira still has not moved out. Oh my glob. Pretty morning, right, Smoothie? What do you want to talk about, Twinkles? Ran a mirror the other day, just that she was a good movie away from our happy town. Yeah. She hasn't moved yet. I'm excited about what new villager we're gonna get, but it's uh it's a little sad that Mira's going, but like I said, she's another she's a redundant bunny. So I'd rather keep Genji than her. Oh, he's looking for snails. It's gotta rain for me to get one of those. So anyways, I've been working on paying off the lighthouse. Like I said, I went to the island. Uh, I did another international like visit, and I played with a Japanese girl, and then somebody else I couldn't recognize their language. But we did a couple, couple uh, tours. Like she, she didn't really know any English at all, but we did pretty good on the tours. And then I went bug ca catching. So I've got a ton of stuff here. I think I even yeah, I've got some golden stags. Somebody was asking me for a golden stag. I think it was Pinky. I wonder if she still wants it, because it's not the same day. So let's just grab all this stuff, and we'll head over to retail. I need to check turnip prices, because uh, I've got a ton of stock and turnips here. But past that, our day is pretty open. I can head to the nooks, maybe, and put like, some of my tools away. That way I can grab more bugs here. But yeah, usually this is the type of stuff I do off-camera, but I figured I'd kind of show you some of my routine here. But yeah, like a lot of the money that I, that comes in for Mare's uh, projects and stuff comes from the island. And I don't really know how the how the bugs fluctuate. Like where are Reese and uh, and Cyrus getting all their money to buy uh, all these bugs and stuff? Katrina's here. Let's go talk to her real quick. I totally look creepy. <laughs> the fact that the mayor's like in a burglar outfit running around town doesn't bode well. Maybe we're doing some type of drill to get the animals to be like alert for intruders. Alright, tell my fortune, please. Very well, let me bring your star matrix into view. Have you seen it? Uh, her face still looks like a butt or something. Or a couple balls. <laughs> she just has big, like, jowls or whatever. This is so weird when it trips out. Ah, yes, he's coming to view. The curator of a museum sips a cup of coffee to wake in the morning. On his cup, the mark of a pigeon. The mark of death. From this place, I can see the signs. Oh, yes, I can. I see good fortune upon friendship. Glasses. This item will be the key to truly unlocking your good fortune. Man, I had glasses on the other day when I was a school kid. I need to go get my glasses, I guess. My glasses. Alright. May happiness find you in yours. Alright. Sometimes when I get down, I just think of Katrina and how she says, remember that bad times are only times that are bad. And you guys can remember that too. And stick through the bad times to the good. This is crazy, I'm not used to this tree looking so huge now. Uh, eventually I'll probably sit under it and watch the whole credit scroll, but I didn't want to do that again, like, immediately after I accidentally got up. Let's head to retail. I'm gonna cash in on all these. Pinky didn't ask me about, um, the stag, so I don't think she wants it anymore. And that's just more money for me. <laughs> the golden stags are so ex I think they're the most valuable thing in the game. So, uh, so I can, uh... I can trade these here without having to worry about somebody wanting them. Here we go. Blam, blam, blam. So many things. But yeah, things are going pretty pretty good in Goostin. I want to get that lighthouse built, but I do want to get my house upgraded. It's like I'm torn between... Jeez, look at all that. I'm torn between upgrading my house and doing civic projects, but once Mira hopefully moves, we should have some more space outside my house to maybe put something cool. What's up, buddy? I really love the to get the minimal sofa for the price. Hmm. Get it, money, buddy. All right. That's gonna look so weird in his house because <laughs> it's all like rustic kind of dusty trail stuff, and then he's gonna have this minimalist sofa. I made it moss colored, but I I, th I was hoping I could like make the sofa look um, look like with a pattern that I had, like how you do with the beds. But 
Uh, Cyrus didn't offer that, so I get got did like a moss green recolor to it, but I like to put them in the shop after I recolor them. Let's just head to the cafe. Ooh, we got a notice here. Fireworks, Sunday at 7. Cool, cool, cool. It's still going to be a bit because it's Monday now, so we got about a week or whatever. Okay, I'm going to head and do my coffee stuff, and then we can go get a joke. Let's talk to Elvis real quick. What's up, buddy? Behold, seeing your face. Well, let's just say I'm ready to start a new day. Gah, my boy. So what's up? So what's up with you, buddy? Thanks for the bamboo shoot. Mm -hmm. He's talking about using the... Yep. <laughs> Thanks for the tip on how to play. Although I knew this from the uh, from the beginning that you can use the control pad to put away your tools and switch them. That is a lot faster. I can't remember if you could even do that in the old animal, like the original Animal Crossing game. Probably not. Tangy, what are you doing in here? How's it going? It's important for adults to have a very mature palate. Maybe that's why grown-ups like bitter coffee. I don't really like bitter coffee, but I also just started to drink it recently. So I'm still getting used to the taste. Let's do it. I'm gonna work in my in my ski mask. It's gonna be scaring customers away like this, but hopefully <laughs> it looks so weird. What do you want? Elvis, you were just outside. Yo, kiddo, the usual. Elvis likes Blue Mountain with no sugar and no milk. That sounds bad. Um, <laughs> I, st I don't put sugar in, but I do put creamer. I like Amaretto creamer. But uh, I haven't really... I do. I drink a lot of like Wegmans coffee. Like there's different like good flavors, like cherry chocolate and stuff like that. <laughs> I probably need to get used to like normal coffee instead of just like fancy flavors and crap. I, I still haven't tried Blue Mountain. I'll have to try that and see what it's like. See ya, Elvis. Whoa! I want this guy. I was just talking to Danielle about how I want this guy in my village. Phil, he's on the record for KK Jongara. Can you get me some coffee? Let's see. I'd love it if you used some mocha coffee beans. I don't know what type of sugar or cream. His shirt is really weird. I think he's like a pheasant. But he's awesome. I want him in my village. Um, he's kind of the same model as Cranston. He, let's give him the regular amount and the regular amount of sugar. Two spoonfuls. Let's see if he likes this. But yeah, he's so cool looking. He kind of reminds me of Falco from Star Fox. <laughs> Come here, buddy. I don't know why he's... That t-shirt is totally clashing with this, the rest of his outfit. Let me take it all in. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, this is the smell. This is exactly what I wanted to drink. It was well worth coming all the way to Gustin. I'll be sure to come again. Herc. What is Herc? <laughs> Herc. But I, I managed to guess his flavor. Oh, Graham. I love it when he comes in. Use that force pole, baby. Pull that coffee off. Count of here. He likes a blend with a regular. If I ever get to the point where I remember this without being able to, without like looking down at my cheat sheet that I wrote everything down on, then I probably have played a little too much. <laughs> but right now I have this piece of paper I keep at my desk, and I've like you've heard me, I'm sure, writing down all of the uh, the different orders and stuff, and it's filled to the brim with all these little characters and their their fake coffee orders. <laughs> Yep, he just insulted Brewster. I bet the secret ingredient is love. I'll be back. Blah, blah. This coffee's like half the size of my head. Alright, and who is our special guest today? It's Digby again. Okay, Digby, I know what you like. He actually, Digby has the exact same coffee preference as uh, Elvis. It's Blue Mountain and Black. He, he mentioned he likes it black, so I'm gonna give him the blackest of coffee. Like it's midnight on a moonless night. Alright, here you go, buddy. Tangy's just not even drinking. She's kind of just hanging out, looking at me. Brewster offered me coffee before, and he uh, he put milk in it, and he said it was uh, pigeon milk. So I, I wonder, like, is that some type of milk squeezed from a pigeon's glands, or is it just... I don't know. I'm a little confused by what pigeon milk would be exactly. I don't know if it's a real thing or not. <laughs> I have to look that up. I don't think it is. You're the Florian, says super coffee beans, blah blah blah. Anything extra? Because I think I nailed all four of those guys. That sounded bad. But I, I think I got their orders correct. Oh no, nothing extra. It's going to be harder because I think I have to do more and more to get the good stuff here. A uh, wonderful steam from the coffee can moisturize my face. I love all natural beauty tips. You might wrinkle and shrivel up and, uh, and get all gross, tangy. you got to be careful. Instead of cutting to... Uh, to do the joke like I usually do, I think I'm just gonna, I'll head over there. Elvis is still outside. Yeah, I think it doesn't really matter if they come in to get a cup of coffee, I don't think. 
because they will teleport back to their position or whatever. I like how the game kind of retains where they are. We got four minutes before I can go in and get a joke, so maybe I will cut, and I'll see you guys in a sec. Whoa, what is... Hold on. Let's see. There's a sweet orange tangerine hat. Makar's mask. Oh, it's from uh, Wind Waker. Wind Waker. Let me grab that. I'll try it on real quick. <laughs> He's the little wooden Korok guy in Wind Waker. He's so cute. I'm going to get this and put it in my Nintendo Museum. Thank you. Wind Waker HD is coming out. I'm thinking about playing it. Look at all these glasses. I don't think I have these. Let's get them and put them on for today so that I'll have extra luck. There we go. <laughs> I just look like a normal like hipstery guy now without my uh, my hood. That's one difference between a, gang a uh, burglar and a hipster guy. Mandarin hat. I like this. Let's try this on. I think I could wear it with my glasses. But yeah, we got it. We got a minute. <laughs> What's up, man? I'm totally ironically wearing this mandarin orange on my head. All right. Oh, I forgot to keep it on. We put this orange back on my head. There we go. All right. We'll head over to Shunks. Thank you, thank you. Dr. Shunks is in the house. My love joke is just a thing to cure what ails you. Did you know that love makes everything nicer? So let me tell you about my wife. She used to be the sweetest girl in the whole wide world. She used to say, Shrunk, you're my funny honey. But these days, the missus says things like, Don't leave me all the housework. Why don't you come home so late? Why do you come home so late? When is that club of yours gonna pay the bills? Yep, the missus really knows how to make me feel like a big joke. But little does she know, I love feeling like a big joke. <laughs> Maybe if you got a profit from this club and didn't dance all night, shrunk. Maybe Tangy will notice me now that I have an orange head. <laughs> 